Irish last kicker. The following contest is a fatal four-way match. And it's for the Raw Women's and the Introducing the Champion from Dublin, Ireland. The Raw Women's Champion. What a Becky career Becky Lynch has had so far here in WWE. Hey, listen, I remember when Becky Lynch first came to NXT. She had moved to Orlando, Florida to be a personal trainer. Never thought she'd get the opportunity to be part of this company. And now she is one of the premier superstars in our women's division. Credited with much of the women's evolution. Seth freaking Rollins, the King Slayer, the architect, undeniably one of the best superstars WWE has seen this generation. Introducing the champion from Davenport, Iowa, she is the Universal Champion. Seth Rollins has made a career out of taking risks and seizing opportunities. Seth Rollins has been a multi-time champion of Money in the Bank ladder match winner. Debuted as part of the Shield with Reigns and Ambrose. The King Slayer set for action. And here we go. In a fatal throwing match, you literally have to be looking over your shoulder at all times. The second you let your guard down is the second you can be the victim of a blindside attack and pin. Any one of these four competitors oh, can man. win this match, guys, which is what makes this fatal four-way so unpredictable. Attack to the midsection. What a stomp. Good grief. Oh. Ooh, bang. <laughs> man, a little extra luster behind that kick. Stationary position. Turns around. Well, this might be it. Oh, my. Got the full Nelson. Boom, right to the face. The challenger's taking on some offense. Yikes. With the championship on the line, she'll have to find a way to fire back. This is either a blip on the radar or the beginning of the end for her, guys. But if you ask me, I wouldn't bet against her. Not tonight, not here, not now. Well, there's still plenty of match to go here, guys. Unless something crazy happens, I don't envision this being the end of the road for her. Keep your eye on this one. Baron Corbin loves to hit people. Before entering sports entertainment, Corbin played professional football and was a boxer. Known as the Lone Wolf, Corbin then set his sights on NXT. Talk about dominating the action. Oh my goodness, crushing it. Harsh impact. You've got to believe this one's over. Boom, what impact. Big time impact from way up high. Breaking the rules. Baron Corbin made waves as soon as he set foot in NXT, and that's exactly what the Lone Wolf wanted. Corbin assaulted superstars like Ty Dillinger, Neville, Kalisto, Fiend Balor, and... 
Samoa Joe. Corbin Jordan names like Cesaro and the Big Show when he became the third winner of the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal at WrestleMania 32. Corbin then set his coordinates for the main roster and looked to destroy superstars like Dolph Ziggler, Dean Ambrose, Apollo Crews, and a familiar foe, Kalisto. Oh, oh, nasty impact. Beautiful technique. What a stomp. Good grief. And what a reversal from Baron Corbin. Oh, and a snap there. That'll give you whiplash. Very difficult position to be in right now. Yeah, situations like this usually don't end very pleasantly. Oh, continuing to punish them. You can see the... Here we go. Becky Lynch setting it up. Boom. A knee drop. Nailed it. Oh, what impact. Not the fall that hurts. It's the sudden stop at the end. What is Baron Corbin? And she escapes the submission. Not a lot of people can break out of that one, Michael. Somebody wound him up, and he's off and running. Matt slam with some attitude. She's countering nicely now. Yeah, a second ago, she was almost done. Harsh impact. Seth Rollins sees an opening. Can he take advantage of it? Suplex. Many times in a Fatal 4-Way match, we've seen superstars join forces for the moment in taking out a dominant entity. This could be someone like Big Show, The Undertaker, Kane, and Nia Jax has examples. When a superstar has no way. Astounding power. I think she's trying to prove a point here. Boom, right in the button. Going to have a hard time stopping Becky when she's doing this. Byron, you made an excellent point a few moments ago. There have been many times throughout history where superstars have joined forces in a fatal four-way match in hopes of eliminating by pinning or incapacitating that dominant force. Sometimes interesting alliances are formed. We saw that at the 33rd WrestleMania during the Raw Women's Championship match. We sure did, Michael. Nia Jax dominated Charlotte Flair, Bayley, and the Bob. Becky Lynch, nice exploder suplex. She can end it here. Nailed it. A long way down. Leg drop. Oh. Oh. She goes for the cover. One, two, She's still in it. She's still in this one. Comes up big with the reversal. All the way up. Oh, no. Good. The dude buster. She is just so dominant. Yeah, talk about a bumpy landing. She counters before it's too late. Big reversal for her there. They got him. Got the arm. Uh, got the disarmer. Man, she knows how to make a comeback. I think Becky Lynch just secured this match. Well, the arm. Becky Lynch got it. Well, it wasn't literally fatal, but it was pretty close. Take a look. She's taking care of business. Look at her go. That's a woman on a mission. And if you don't enjoy watching her perform, there's something seriously wrong with you. Here are your winners in. What a grueling match. It looked like anybody's match there toward the end. Congratulations. I can tell you, fatal four-way matches are not easy to win. They are not a walk in the park. And that's yet another great match the city of Baltimore has hosted over the years.